Good morning and happy Friday. It is the second day of fourth grade. It's Friday, September 9th. I am outside Caribou. After these first two days, I'm not gonna get every day. I'm telling myself that. But these first two days, I, especially with conferences, we had those back to school conferences all week. I'm just, I'm tired, I'm running on fumes. So I need this caffeine to get through the days. I am excited for today. I have some fun stuff planned for us, especially this morning. Um, and then just, you know, some basic back to school stuff, second day stuff. And then we also will have our first school wide like celebration. We call them like perk parties, but um, yeah. I'm gonna let you know what we do. So I'll see you when I see you. My third home. I spilled a little bit carrying my backpack, this and my box of fun in from there. Okay, awkward angles, I'm trying to multitask. Um, I am here early again, just because I still just have stuff I need to get ready and I've been so last minute and tired by the end of the day, I can't, or not that I can't, I just haven't wanted to take the time to get stuff ready for the next day. So I just have some stuff to print. And all three copy of our copiers were done yesterday. That's another reason, so hmm. um, Yeah, so I'm gonna print some stuff and get that ready. And I'll let you know what we do at the end of the day because I think it'll be fun or gross, but I think sometimes gross stuff can be fun too, right? Nah, I think so. And day two is done. It is the weekend. Let me fill you in on what we did today. So we started the morning with our morning meeting like normal, nothing fancy there. Played some heads up seven up for our game today. And then after that, we did a little review of animals, which we taught for science in third grade. So I just went through the different types of vertebrates. And um, then we talked more about owls specifically and I showed a couple of videos. And then we talked about how they create owl pellets to get rid of the parts of animals that they eat that they can't digest. And normally in third grade, we dissect owl pellets and we didn't for some reason last year. I can't remember why. So I decided to do it today. Like why not? We should have done it, but we didn't. And I have my same class, so we dissected owl pellets. I have 26 students. I had 20 owl pellets. I had these trays. I had these ide bone identify identif identification bone charts. And then they had tweezers and toothpicks they could use to dissect the owl pellet. Not everyone wanted to like actually do the dissecting, so that's worked out only having 20 people partnered up if they wanted to. Um, some loved it, some did not like it. Either way, they learned something new. I think the reason why some of them didn't like it is these ones smell like had a smell to them that were in the past. I don't remember them smelling quite as strong, but most of them, I think, enjoyed it or I mean, they all learned something from it. So that was good. Uh, then after that, we did a get to know you four corners activity. Um, I'll show you that. So I just had different questions and then every corner of the room, like they had to choose one of these things. Um, so out of all of these, what would be their biggest fear? Spiders, snakes, sharks, and bees. And they would go to that corner and then you can see who had things in common with them. Like when were you born? How many siblings? Something you're good at? Uh, pets? So just different questions like that. We also started our reading stamina today. So students chose a book from in here. We haven't gotten to our school library yet, but we will next week. Um, we probably got up to about five minutes just of getting back in the swing of reading, paying attention, not getting distracted, thinking about what you're reading, that type of thing. Um, we did play a little book it today as well. And then our schedule was adjusted because we had our first, um, school celebration thing in this afternoon. Um, yeah. And then when we got, uh, got in from recess, we got on to read works. We're going to be doing article of a day. So every week I'll assign a different kind of like theme. Like I did animals for this one and then they have different articles they can choose to read from. And then they kind of journal about what they read. So it's a good way to expose them to new concepts. They're all nonfiction. So like background knowledge, build that. Um, and then they're also practicing writing summaries. So that part's great as well. I read some of our read aloud, a series of unfortunate events. We did our snack, went outside. Um, we played more skunk. They really do have enjoyed that. So that was fun. And then we had our school celebration. So that was pretty much our second day of school. It's been a good start. The new students joining us have done a good job of I don't know, just kind of fitting in and my class has done a good job of including them and not making it seem like separated since they obviously were with each other all last year. Um, ready for the first full week next week though. We're gonna get into our actual schedule so that'll be good. I mean, it's always fun doing the back to school stuff, but it just is hard. I don't know, it's just more tiring because I feel like you're doing so many different things that it's, I mean, it's super important to do, but it just is exhausting. So it'll be nice starting to get into our actual routine next week. So. Make sure you are, uh, you know, subscribed and all that good stuff. That way you're ready when that happens next week. But it's time for me to go home, 
sit on my couch, DoorDash food, and not leave my couch until Monday morning. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Goodbye.